Welcome ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve for x as well as find the machine measure of an angle uh, when given supplementary angles. And we know we have supplementary angles because you can see that we have angles that make up a straight line. And anytime we have an angle, two angles that make up a straight line, those two angles are supplementary. And even important, even more importantly, we need to remember that supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. So what we can do is by using that information, we know we can set up an equation of adding the two angles equal to 180, and then we can just solve for our x, and then we can find the missing measure of our angles. So we'll start with something you know, very basic. We, we can see that you have a line here, and you can see I have x and 125 degrees. Well, those two angles are supplementary because they make up a straight angle. So therefore, we know that the sum of those two angles is equal to 180. So I can say x plus 125 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Now, all I need to do is solve for x to find my value of x. So I subtract 125 minus 125, and looks like x is going to equal 55 degrees. Now, there's really nothing else I need to do here, um, because I know that that's 125, then that one, that means that's going to be 55 degrees. And again, I just want to make sure I go back and check my work to make sure they add up to 180, which in this case, they do. Uh, the next one, again, you can see I have a, I have a line, but this time it's a vertical line. So it doesn't matter if it's horizontal or vertical. Still fine. Um, so therefore, now I can set up an equation here. I could say 2x plus x minus 30 is equal to 180 degrees. Now, I can combine my like terms. 2x plus x is 3x minus 30 equals 180 degrees. And now, I have a two-step equation that I'm just going to solve for x. So I'll add 30 degrees. At 30 degrees, I get 3x is equal to 210 degrees. Divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals 70 degrees. Now that I know x equals 70 degrees, you can see that both of these cases, um, I can, now I need to basically plug that into there. So I'd have 7 degrees minus 30, which is equal to 40 degrees. And then I have 70 degrees times 2 which equal to 140 degrees. And again, you want to kind of go back. And I'm going to do the mental math kind of on my own for here on. But therefore, you just want to go back and make sure, all right, does 140 plus 40 equals 180? And yes, it does. So therefore, we're all good. Um, let's kind of look over in this example. Here's just another one, you know, 3x plus 2x. We know that they make up a straight angle. So therefore, I can say, you know, 3x plus 2x is equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, that's 5x is equal to um, 180 degrees. Divide by 5, divide by 5. Um, let's see. Actually, I don't know. I shouldn't 5. Why should I know? I should know this. 180 divided by 5, 36. I knew that. Um, so therefore, x is going to equal 36. So therefore, 3 times 36 is going to be 36. That's going to be 72. That's going to be 108. And then 2 times 36 is going to be 72. And again, we want to make sure, do those two add up? Yes, they do. So therefore, I did all my math correctly. Um, let's kind of go over to this one here. Here you have two lines, right? And sometimes this could be confusing, but you're going to see, we're going to see this a lot. Um, we have two lines that are intersecting. But it's important that we look at these two lines that are intersecting. These two angles are on the same line, right? And they're just being intersected. So by once they're being intersected by this line, they kind of create a straight angle. However, these two. These two angles are going to add up to be um, to make up a line, so therefore they're supplementary. So therefore I can say 2x plus 24. A lot of times when I'm adding multiple angles with expressions, I like to use um, I like to use parentheses. Um, it's not really necessary, but I think when you're first getting used to this, it's kind of helpful. Then I could also rewrite, uh, combine my or just rewrite, regroup them. So therefore my um, numeric expressions are together and my algebraic expressions are together. Now it's much easier to say 2x plus 4x is going to equal 6x. 24 plus 36 is going to be 40, 50, 60. <sighs> equals 180 degrees. Now I subtract 60, subtract 60. 6x equals 120 degrees. Divide by 6, divide by 6. x is going to equal 20 degrees. Okay. Now I can just plug 20 degrees back in here. And again, I'm going to kind of do a little mental math. Uh, 2 times 20 is 40, plus 24 is going to be 68 degrees. And then over here, 4 times 20 is going to be 80, plus 36 is going to be 116. OK, so I did something wrong. That's, 
that's 40, that's 24. I mean, 40, that's 64. I don't know where 68 came from. Um, and then that's 40. No, 46. 20, 20 degrees times 2 is 40. Yeah, that's 64. OK. Here, that's going to be 80 plus 16 is 116. OK. So now we want to make sure to 64 plus 116 add up to 180. And you can see 70, 80. Yes, it does. So we're good. Um, the last two, I like to leave these at the end because, again, these are the same thing. Again, they're just, we have some figures in there. So a lot of times, you know, the intersecting lines gets a lot of people also with figures. But again, you want to see, do you have a straight line? Yes. Do you have an angle that has been broken up into separate angles? Yes. Therefore, we have supplementary angles in both of these cases. Straight line being broken up by, an by a line to create two different angles. However, they still add up to make a straight line, so they're supplementary. So the math is going to be the same. 2x plus 4x. Um, 4x plus 108 equals 180 degrees. So therefore, that's 6x plus 108 equals 180. Subtract 108. Subtract 108. Let's see, 6x is going to equal 72 degrees. Divide by 6. Divide by 6. Uh, 6 goes into 60 10 times. So 66, 11, 72 would be 12. Okay. So 2 times 12 is going to be 24 degrees. And then 4 times 12 is going to be 12, 24, 48. Um, plus 108 is going to be 156. And again, I'm using this, just doing that in my math. All I'm doing is plugging in 12 and for x on both of these. And by doing that, I just want to double check. I get 180. 156 plus 24 adds up to 180. Perfect. All right, last but not least, our last one. Again, guys, we have supplementary angles, so let's just set up the equation. 10x minus 5 plus 4x plus 3 equals 180 degrees. Here, I'm not using parentheses. I'm just going to go ahead and combine them. But you could follow the same steps I did up there. So therefore, I have 14x uh, minus 2 equals 180. Add 2, add 2. 14x equals 182. I do not know what that is, though. Um, so I'm going to use a calculator on this. 182 divided by 14 equals 13. x equals 13. So now let's go ahead and plug this in. So 13 times 10 is going to be 130. Minus 5 would be 125. Again, all I'm doing is plugging 13 in for x. 10 times 13 is 130. Minus 5 is 125. 4 times 13, uh, that would be 26. That's going to be 52. 52 plus 3 is going to be 55. And does 125 degrees plus 55 degrees equal 180? Yes, it does. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve for your missing variable as well as angles by using supplementary angles. Thanks.